So we're gonna dive in to stringing this thing up now. I string all of my own sticks and I'm gonna teach Danny here today, kind of my pattern, what I like to do, um, and string this bad boy up. Right. Start on that side. Skip one, go through, and then have you ever seen the way uh, Lyle did his top strings? No. So it's kind of like an SI, but for a top string. All right. You go in, and then you, you tie it all up, and then you go out back through the same hole. All right. So I don't like this. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, to string it, 15, 20 minutes to break it in, probably like a week or two. I like to pound it and uh, hit the wall with it a bunch, really bag it out, and then I tighten it back up. You're going with uh, nine diamonds, right? Yeah. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Um, I read the stringing pack instructions and just kind of, of winged it, and then I had just a bunch of leftover sticks from, you know, my old sticks or my brother's sticks. Started trying out stuff, um, and uh, and then eventually, I probably realistically didn't get good at stringing, or at least what I think is good at stringing, until probably like ninth or tenth grade. You know, I look back at the sticks I used to use, and it was <laughs> they, were, they were pretty ugly. Now I finally kind of got a good pattern. I know how to string it tight. So, uh, Ball comes out pretty hot with it. My buddy's dad always did my stick and like It was always such a pain whenever I wanted because obviously like I always wanted my stick restrung. Yeah So it was always like such a pain to get it restrung because I would have to like ask him and then drop it off at the house and uh, Once I kind of started being able to do it I I just loved being able to like try different things. I think that's one thing that's so cool about lacrosse is like every stick is different. Um, and, and there's so much fluidity with like the way that you can string. Um, there's so many different ways and it all kind of depends on your preference and stuff. And that's, there's no other sport like that. Uh, what kind of setup do you use for your shooting strings? I, I do this weird thing. Um, so I use a thick nylon. I feel like I can kind of feel the ball release a little bit better with that. And then I actually skip two rows and then put the shooter in, so. It looks a little bit weird um, to, to most people because it's not how you know things are generically strung. So I pound it in, I loosen it up a little bit, and then I tie it off. I go through the ten and tie it off on the ten on the shooter. So you didn't even go through the side wall. No. When I begin to pound it, I try to pound it really high almost like on slash right under that shooter. What did you do for the uh, bottom string? Oh. 10, the next 10. All right. Pass that torch. I don't like Bic light, because it method hurts my thumbs. These things are so easy. And there, you have it. It's got some nice depth. It comes out very fast. That's why I like it. Comes out hot. <laughs> 